Hello, come along with me while we go inside an M&S food hall. So, when you first walk into the M&S food hall that I was in, they had a little bit of Christmas. I'm not going to show many of the Christmas products because I've done a couple of Christmas videos with M&S food on my channel, so check those out. They'll be in the Christmas 2022 playlist, so you can see all what they've got for Christmas in those videos. So Marks and Spencers, I feel like it's a slightly luxury on the more expensive side of a supermarket. It's not really a budget-friendly supermarket, in my opinion. Um, and their supermarket layout is slightly different as well to one of the national supermarkets in the UK. They're a lot smaller, the food halls, in size. Um, and a bit more, They the stock that they have is not much variety so they don't really have branded items they have their own M&S items um, so when you first walk into this one we've got all of their snack tubs these are like their treat tubs so they sell cakes and biscuits things like Rocky Roads and Flapjacks and they're usually in these plastic tubs and they're usually two for five pound we go onto the bakery, which was very small at the one I was at. They just sell the fresh loaves of bread, baguettes and cobs. And then just opposite the bakery, they've got a whole aisle of savoury snacks and crackers. So we've got the cracker wheats, we've got the cheese twists, we've got various different crackers in different sizes, but again, not branded. It's all M&S. It's not the um, national brands that you can find in most supermarkets. They also have these biscuits which are extremely delicious. The round biscuits are the best ones here, the chocolate round ones, they are so nice. And you can see the prices on the label, £2 for a box. They also have the cookies which are again really tasty. It feels like a treat when you get stuff from there because it's really nice and it's full of flavour but slightly on the higher price end. Um, so they've got a different range of biscuits. You can see the Sultana, the Salted Caramel, lots of chocolatey ones, coconut ones. And then they've got these tea cakes, which just remind me of, I used to have these years and years ago. Um, and they now come in like paper packaging as well, which is really good. Um, so they have a couple of those. And then they have different varieties of shortbreads. Um, and yeah, just lots of different little treats. We've got Jaffa cakes, but not the branded Jaffa cakes. Um, and we've got wafer biscuits. And then just briefly, I know I said I wasn't going to do the Christmas things, but these are just the rest of the aisle that I haven't seen before. So they are new Christmas items that were not in here last week. So it's just luxurious Christmas chocolates, but they're just packaged so beautifully. That's the thing with Marks and Spencers. They really go all out on their packaging and making things look really nice, really special. So they had those and then they had a load more of these light up lanterns which I seen briefly last time but there's a lot more different colours they've got shortbreads in and then this beautiful starry night lantern it like projects onto the ceiling this starry night image and picture so that tin was just gorgeous to look at and that is £9 the rest of them were £6 and then they do have the big family size boxes of biscuits. So these are like milk, dark and white chocolate biscuits. Some of them are wrapped up, some of them are loose, but they're a bigger collection. So they would make a great big family biscuit tin, I guess. Um, with Marks as well, going into the next aisle, they do have uh, soft drinks. They have lots of tonic waters um, and they do have fizzy pop, but they have, again, not branded. So they've got these very interesting colas, ginger beer, pink lemonade, and then just some cloudy lemonade, which is delicious. That cloudy lemonade is so nice. And they range in prices, but these are about £3 for a glass bottle. They do have multi-packs as well of different drinks. The multi packs are £4.25, so you can get the lemonade and the cola and the ginger beer. And then they also do other little orange based drinks as well. There, they also have the sweets and chocolate on the same aisle as the drinks. You can buy odd things like marzipan balls covered in chocolate. You can also get this massive bar of peanut. Um, chocolate this is called the big daddy which made me laugh when i saw it it was five pound um and they've got different whips those sorted caramel whips and they do a plain chocolate one are absolutely insane and then they have bars of chocolate again you won't find branded chocolate so cadbury's nestle they have their own um brand but they are just insanely good they add different flavors to them so we've got caramel filled buttons gigantic mint buttons honeycomb so all of these bags are about two pound each 
each. The mini whips with the marshmallow are so nice. Um, they're about £2 each and they have a massive variety of different chocolatey snacks. And then they do, of course, have the Percy the Pig and Colin the Caterpillar. So these are two things that are probably well known now for Marks and Spencers. And they've got just a massive array of Colin the Caterpillar sweets, fizzy sweets, normal sweets, um, and then also with Percy the Pig as well. Just out of curiosity, I'd be interested in the comments to know if you like Percy the Pig sweets because my husband loves Percy Pig sweets. He's tried many of the different varieties. I'm, I can hit or miss, like I'm not that bothered. They're not amazing and I can definitely live without them. But let me know in the comments if you are a Percy Pig lover or if you prefer Colin the Caterpillar. <laughs> Um, as well as the sweets, they also have a ton of different crisps and savoury snacks. So they've got lots of nuts and then they've got lots of... They have a lot of tortilla chips, but different flavourings, which I really like. They've got a nacho cheese one. They're really nice. And then they also have a ton of pretzels. So you can get the pretzel sticks, the round pretzels or the smaller size pretzels. So a nice few different offerings there. Um, different flavoured tortilla chips, as I said, the pepper ones, the cool ones, the restaurant ones. And then I found these, which I've never seen before. And my goodness, did I bag one of those into my trolley. I'm really excited to try these. Moving on into the fridge section. So this week they've got this £6 deal. So you can get a pasta, a sauce and a bread for £6. Sometimes they have the £10 meal deal here as well. But this week it's this what they've got on offer. So you can get either fresh pasta, you can get the filled pasta um, and then either fresh sauces or the tubs of sauces and garlic breads. So that was three items for £6, which was really good. That actually brings the price down on the individual items. And the fresh pasta is on another level. It's so tasty. I also spotted at the end of the fridge bit, they had this standalone stand with um, gin. So this is their Christmas gin this year. I was, I'm, I love gin. I absolutely love gin, but I don't like too many flavoured gins because I feel like it's sweet enough. But they've got this spiced sugar plum gin, which I'm excited to try. The Clementine one, I think I'm going to give a miss this year, but they were £15 a bottle. In the fridge section as well, they also had a variety of different foods from around the world. So they've got Thailand, a taste of Thailand. They had um, Chinese, they had Indian, they had a taste of Japan. Lots of the meals were ready-made meals, so easy to cook, pop them in the microwave, um, and single portions. And they ranged in different prices. £2.10 was the cheapest one I saw, and I think they go up to about a fiver um, per portion, but a wide a variety of different meals there. So moving on into the fruit and vegetable section, a ton of fresh veggies. Not too bad prices for the garlic, that was 60p. Some of the vegetables are more expensive, but they're really fresh and honestly they do last longer the fruit from marks just tastes so much nicer and it lasts longer it's really fresh and it doesn't go off when i well, every time i buy it anyway um they also have a ton of like prepared so they've got prepared fruits and they've got prepared vegetables and salad -y bits and these range in different prices but you can get couscous you can get the made up salads they do bigger salads as well at the bottom um but they're so nice i've only tasted a few of those but the ones i've ever tried are delicious i love the fruity moroccan couscous that's my favorite and then they've got the potato salads and the coleslaw the potato salad is just so good i used to buy it a lot it was absolutely delicious and they've got like a cheese layered pasta at the bottom as well and then they've got these fruity um coleslaws and coronation coleslaw which i've never tried before this is the rest of the fruit section, so the grapes and the citrus fruits. And then they've got a little bit of freezer. The one I go to, it's really small, the freezer section. It's just this line. And there's there's frozen vegetables there. Then there's like the potato products there. And then there's more like the fish and the meat. And then there's some desserts. But I just wanted to show you the Christmas desserts because they've added to this since last week. So they've got this baked Alaska, which I kind of want to try. It is quite expensive, but I would just love to give it a go. It looks so inviting. Fighting. They also have a pavlova and then they've got some little chocolate and orange torts as well. So new little desserts there in the Christmas section of the freezer. And then they have like ice lollies and ice and stuff like that. And then they've got the cupboard stuff. There's just a few things here I wanted to show you. So they've got this Christmassy jam. They've got a new um, clementine curd. I love lemon curd. Never tried the clementine. Want to give it a go for £2.50. And they have like baked beans and pasta and pasta sauces. They've got a baking section. This cocoa powder is new as well. I've not seen that. 
I also have cake baking kits, so the cupcake um, baking kit and then the gingerbread kit as well there, £2.50. A, a wide variety of rice, this one was brand new, I've not seen that one before. I like to get my risotto rice for Marks because it always just has loads of flavour, it's really nice. And then the rest of these sauces are here. So that is pretty much it, that's a little tour of the food hall that is closest to me um, for Marks and Spencers and the things that they have on offer. I just want to finish off with saying that they now have chocolate and orange granola which really excited me <laughs> i love granola but especially when it's got chocolate in i always feel like i can justify it at breakfast <laughs> and this is a mini haul of the things that i brought so i went with the restaurant style tortilla chips i also got some risotto rice i just love it from here i also picked up a bag of those milk chocolate and cinnamon rolled tortillas I got a bag of apples and oranges, two for four pound. I picked up a mozzarella and pesto wrap for my hubby, some pretzel sticks and some pasta. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.